Today, White House officials are meeting with local leaders from the Midwest to discuss issues affecting their cities. Now, this includes the ongoing opioid crisis and economic development and infrastructure. Eyewitness News' Bree Jackson has more from our Washington newsroom. Like they say, all politics is local. At the White House, local leaders put issues affecting their communities in the spotlight. At flooding we've just recently seen almost broke record 93 levels. Madison County, Illinois board member Chris Guy says funding for disaster recovery is a top priority. He wants to rebuild communities and knows it will take time and money. Hamilton County, Indiana Commissioner Mark Hairbrandt is focused on fixing bridges and roads. Well, there's a lot of infrastructure needs and so transportation is obviously Obviously, a, a key. Commissioners say it's also important for local, state, and federal leaders to work together to expand job opportunities. And administration officials tell me that the White House is working with local communities to improve workforce training, identify economic opportunities, and support small businesses. We have you know, over five and a half million available jobs in the U.S. Chris Pilkerton, acting administrator of the Small Business Administration, says he's working to better connect companies with skilled workers. So we're working really closely with the Office of Employment Training and Assistance and the Department of Labor to identify those jobs and work with small businesses so they can go to those training centers and hire those people. Chris Guy says he's seen efforts like that pay off. Individuals that want to be a CNA or work as a nurse go to the community college through the Workforce Development Apprenticeship Program and to get excellent jobs. Those are programs administration officials say they hope to build on. For the Washington Newsroom, Bree Jackson, Eyewitness News.